The first strategy helps the patient to look at how symptoms might have occurred before during stress. I've used the word stress, but it's crucially important wherever possible to use the patient's own descriptive words. Depression or anxiety may clearly not be acceptable. What is an acceptable term? What words has the patient, his or herself, already suggested to you? Have you experienced stomach pains or tummy ache before when you've been under a lot of pressure? I haven't had them really since I was quite young. I had them um, since I was at school, secondary school. There was, I was bullied for when I was about 14, just under, say, about a year. And I used to have a lot of time off school then with stomach pains. Mm. And no one knew what it was. They just, I used to just get a note from them to say I was having yeah. stomach cramps. But I, d I didn't want to be in school when it was because I was bullied. So. Yeah, yeah. And then it's just carried on really, just off and on. Yeah. But it's got worse recently. How would it sound if I thought it was the same process going on again? in terms of it being related to the pressure and your mood and work that was causing some of the pain? That I had like when I was being bullied? Mm, yeah. I don't know really. I mean, no one's bullying me now. It's no. not... No. You know. Well, there are a lot of things going on that we talked about last time.